Hello, my Socratica friends. We're here to help you be a great student. Well, I know you might not feel like a great student today if you're considering getting a tutor. You're probably struggling with a subject and you don't know how to fix it. But I'm here to tell you that getting help is a sign that you are a great student. You're doing what it takes to learn the subject. We all need a little help sometimes. When should you get a tutor? I made the assumption just now that it's because you're having real problems with a class, but there are actually lots of different scenarios where it could be a good idea. First, you're really struggling. You're taking a class you can't drop, and if you don't fix things, you're going to fail and maybe have to repeat the class. Eesh. Yes, time to get a tutor now before it's too late. Or maybe the situation is not so dire. You're getting by just fine. You're going to pass with a B or a C, but you're not satisfied with how well you're doing. Maybe you know that this is a really important subject for your major, so you need to really understand it if you're going to be able to do well in the future. Yes, time to hire a tutor. Good tutoring can lift you up so you can attain a much higher level than you would on your own. Or maybe everything is going great. You're getting an A, but you're having to put in so much work and you know things would go a lot smoother if you could just talk things through with someone who knows what they're doing. That's also a great time to work with a tutor. Sometimes investing one hour with a tutor can save you multiple hours of studying later. Okay, so we're all agreed. You're going to start working with a tutor. Where do you find a good tutor? Many schools offer free tutoring from work-study students, and some colleges even have a free drop-in tutoring center. If that's the case, by all means, start there. It's probably going to be an older student who took that exact same class, so they'll really know how to help. You can also ask for recommendations from friends, or even your professor might have a list of trusted tutors. If not, don't worry, there are a ton of tutors available online. The internet is magic. One really nice thing about working with an online tutor is that you can schedule your meeting whenever it's convenient for you. It could be first thing in the morning, after dinner, on the weekend. It's really up to you. There are tutors available in all languages and at all price points. But hiring a tutor is just the beginning. You can't just spend money and magically become better at a subject. It won't do you any good unless you step up and do your part. You have an essential role to play. Today, let's talk about how to use a tutor effectively. Speaking of money magically making things better though, did you know that Socratica has a Patreon? Our viewers support our work with small donations that go a long way. If you find our work valuable, join the Socratica team. You'll be helping us make beautiful videos about math, science, programming, and being a great student. Free for the world. Now let's get you ready for your first tutoring session. We take learning seriously here at Socratica, so it shouldn't surprise you to learn that all of us have used tutors before. We've also all been tutors ourselves, so we have some special insights about what it's like from both sides. Your time is valuable, and so is the tutors. So let's make sure you make the most of every minute. Here are seven things you can do to maximize the benefit of working with a tutor. Going to a tutor is not a substitute for going to your regular class, taking careful notes, and reviewing those notes. In fact, we recommend sharing your class notes with your tutor so they can see where you are in your class. It can help them pinpoint what pieces of knowledge you might be missing. If you need some help taking notes, we have a great video about the Cornell Notes technique. These notes are an invaluable tool for helping you remember what happened in class, as well as preparing for tests. And in the hands of a tutor, they'll keep you both focused on what's essential. By the way, you should be taking notes in your tutoring sessions as well. Don't come to your tutor empty-handed and expect them to do your homework for you. They're there to assist you with your homework, not do your homework. Prepare by starting your homework and marking down carefully what you've tried and where you got stuck. This is known as a Corson technique. We talked about this in detail in our video on how to use office hours. Just like you wouldn't go to a professor's office hours and expect them to reteach everything to you from scratch, you shouldn't expect a tutor to start from the very beginning either. Do as much work as you can until you really need their help. Then you and your tutor can work together to fix those few trouble spots. That's a much better use of your time. You wouldn't go to the dentist and lie about a sore tooth, right? You'd point it out and get it taken care of. 
Same with a tutor. Be completely honest about the things you're having trouble with. I know sometimes it's not lying to yourself exactly. Maybe you really don't know where you're getting stuck. Practice tests can help you a lot here. Check the end of the chapter in your textbook or ask your professor for sample problems. These can help point out gaps in your knowledge, and that means less guesswork for you and your tutor. Try to arrive at your tutoring session fresh. Don't schedule a meeting with your tutor if you just got out of a two-hour lecture. Build in a break before you meet with your tutor so you're not tired or hungry. Also, come prepared with everything that might help. Bring your class notes, textbook, all your old assignments. It's also very helpful if you let your tutor know ahead of time exactly what subjects you're covering in class and on your homework. It can be tempting to let your tutor's voice just wash over you soothingly as they solve all your problems, making you feel like everything is going to be okay. Sit up, pay attention. Be ready to ask questions as soon as you get lost. This is one of the real strengths of one-on-one -on -one tutoring, as opposed to being an anonymous face in the crowd in your classes. Your tutoring sessions should focus on your understanding, not your tutor giving you just another generic lecture. When your tutor shows you how to do something, try to demonstrate how to do it back to them. Make sure you're able to actually do the work independently by the time you leave your tutoring session. It's okay if you're not perfect, but you should be seeing progress in your capabilities after each meeting. Don't come the day before a test and expect the tutor to work miracles. You can't cram for tests, not even with a tutor. We have a video about time management and using a planner. Review this video if you need a little refresher. Here's the general idea. Write the day of your test in your planner and then count backwards, building in short study sessions each day. You should plan to start your studying a day or two before you meet with your tutor, as well as a day or two afterwards. Congratulations! By working with a tutor, you're leveling up your studies. You're having the time of your life, right? Well, what if things aren't going so great with your tutor? The truth is, tutoring isn't always very much fun. Facing up to your difficulties can be very uncomfortable. I know you might feel like quitting, but make sure you're giving it a decent shot before you bail. If you have honestly followed our suggestions for several meetings and you're just not seeing progress, you can actually fire a tutor. Does this help normalize tutoring for you? What we're really getting at here is that you shouldn't feel like it's weird or sad to work with a tutor. We also hope you see that working with a tutor should not be a last resort. I'm not saying it's the first resort, but it's just another studying method that you can use. And in some situations, it really makes sense. Here's another thing to keep in mind. Not everyone has the time or the budget to afford a traditional tutor. If you find yourself in this position, you are not alone. There are other options out there to try that give you a lot of the same benefits. First, get together with your classmates and help each other out. Discuss where you are running into problems. You can help them and they can help you. Watch some YouTube videos. There are some great edutubers out there working hard to make educational videos for you. The comment sections on these videos can even be a good place to learn extra tips. After all, there are a lot of people watching and learning, just like you. Have you successfully used a tutor? Do you have more hints to share? Let us know how you're doing, Socratica friends. We know you're working hard and we're proud of you. The road is not always smooth, but it's all part of being a great student. Socratica friends, we literally wrote the book on how to be a great student. Buy your copy today.